Good morning, friends. I'm outside on this beautiful Monday morning, the 8th of August, to briefly reflect on the gospel passage from yesterday, uh, the gospel of Luke uh, chapter 12, verses 32 through 40. And I love that this passage opens with, don't be afraid little flock in the translation that I read this morning because I think right now there's a lot for us to be afraid of. We have the climate situation that's ongoing right now that I believe is uh, approaching critical or if not, if not at this state of outright emergency. We have the situation surrounding um, geopolitics here in America and around the world. We have uh, a situation of disunion and disharmony within my own United Methodist Church, which regardless of what side of the issue you fall on, um, is causing a great deal of concern and stress. So there's a lot to be worried about and a lot we could be fearful about but I love that this scripture says do not be afraid little flock for it is the father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom which means in my mind in my reading that God trusts us this was not an accident you being loved by God was not an accident. You having a purpose in God's world was not an accident. That God means what he says and God, what, what God says, excuse me. And that God trusts you. But this scripture goes on to say that we've got to be like the slaves that are ready to open the master's door when he when the master comes and knocks which means that we have to be attentive to the world we have been asked to care for we as Christians must care with love and compassion for our fellow man we must pay attention to the environment because God is going to call us to account for the way we operate in the world and the way we we store the resources we've been given be they social be they environmental be whatever they may consist of we have to uh, store them with justice compassion and love in order to be ready for when God comes and calls us to account. Because this scripture also says, wherever your treasure is, there your heart will be as well. So I am asking you, where is your heart this Monday morning? What are you focused on? Are you focused on living with compassion and serving and giving yourself to for others in love? Or are you concerned with gathering up the resources you can for yourself? So I, I encourage us to live with openness and live with readiness and realize that God's kingdom consists of not only the souls and spirits of our fellow human beings and those we're called to love human to human, but the way we care for the earth, the way we care for every piece of creation God has asked us to steward. And if we do that well and are ready when God God returns, or when Christ returns, excuse me, the scripture says that God will honor us and set us down and serve us. But only if we have our treasure and our heart in the right place.
So I call us today to remember where our where our treasure is, there will our heart be as well. So as I often say, live with an open hand, ready to give love, justice, mercy, and resources to those we're called to serve. And that makes us servants and slaves of Christ who are ready for his return. Thank you, friends. Lots of love. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.